Before you thread your machine, make sure the thread pickup lever is raised as high as it can go. Then, the steps are listed right on the machine. So step one is guiding the thread behind the thread guide. Step two is down. Three is around and back up. Four is to pass it through that take-up lever just once, and then go back down. Step five is to guide the thread behind this little bar. You do that by holding your thread kind of like floss. Then take your right hand and pass it behind down, and then it should be through and behind that little bar. The last step is to thread the needle. The eye of the needle is all the way at the bottom, and yes, it can be challenging, so take your time, make sure the end of your thread is a nice clean cut. It'll, it might take you more than one try. You'll get there. Carefully pull your thread all the way through and make sure it's not tangled or looped around your needle. Then pass the thread through the presser foot so that it goes out the back of the machine. If there's already a bobbin, you're done and you're ready to sew. If there isn't a bobbin or your bobbin is empty and needs to be replaced, carefully open the lid to the bobbin. Make sure your bobbin's going the right direction. If it's not, the thread's not going the right way, you just flip it over. Then carefully drop the bobbin into the bobbin holder. The thread goes under the little plastic tab. And then use the top thread to pull the bobbin thread up through the base plate. Carefully hold the thread while you turn the hand wheel just once. And then once you pull the top thread towards yourself, it pulls the bobbin thread up through the base plate. Now you have two threads that can go out the back of the machine. Replace the cover on the bobbin, and then you're ready to sew. Always check that you have two threads coming out the back of your machine, one coming down through the needle and one coming up through the middle of the base plate.